Hockey is back for spotting fakes, and this week I'm covering one of the best goalies of all time. It is the 1986 OPG Patrick Waugh rookie card. Now, during his playing days, Patrick Waugh won three different Vezina trophies and also four Stanley Cups. Now, if you're new to my channel, every single Friday, I post a video about spotting a different fake. I've run from Michael Jordan, Dwayne Gretzky, to Mike Trout. And real quick, before I show you how to spot the fake, just want to show you the price on this card. So you can see a nine right now is about a $1,500 card. It's trending upwards a little bit. Now the eight is going down and the last sale on this was about $500. Earlier in the year, it was about $776. So it's an expensive card. It's not unreasonable to find these raw in good shape as it's a 1986 card. But just keep that in the back of your mind that these cards are expensive still. Eight has a pop of a 1250 and a nine has 585. So they are out there. If you guys want to use this tool as well, use code breakout, save yourself 20% off your first month or first year purchase with that. Now this card's pretty obvious to the fake. Once you start seeing the small subtle details, uh, the reprints aren't good at all. The first one is the black dot. So everyone knows about the dot on the Gretzky rookie for the Opeachy. Same thing can be said with the Patrick Waugh. So this isn't something wrong with my screen. This is actually a black dot. All the cards have them. You can see the fakes do not uh, reprint this. So for right away, if you don't see this black dot, the card is most likely fake. There's probably a few of these that are out there that don't have the black dot, but I'd stay with them unless they're already graded. And even then, that's kind of sketch to me. The next thing to look at is this Opeachy logo. So you can see on the real one, there's a thicker border on this one. Uh, this one is not like a smooth border. It's very thin at some spots, thick, thin. It just looks way off. You can see very standout. This is not at all. You can take a look at that under the loop as well. Same with this stuff down over here with Patrick Waugh. Uh, this should be all non-pixelated on the fakes. They are pixelated on that. Next thing I like to take a look at is the back. So you can see the two different colors. This is a very cream color. This is more kind of like a darker version of the card all the way around. Another thing that there's fakes of these that are all white on the back. So just make sure this color pigment lines up with what is real. Again, you can see the differences even right here with the different colors. Uh, you have the duller blue over here versus the bright blue. So make sure you pay attention to that over here. Another thing I've noticed on these cards as well is like the random lines and dots. Like you can see there's one right here. Some of the other ones have like random lines and print defects on the back. Uh, some of the other ones that are fakes do not reproduce these. Um, so when you start seeing details like that, everything else over here starts lining up. You know you're going to have a real card. Another thing also, like I always preach, is take a look at the smaller details. So make sure you take a look at your copyright symbols because it's so hard for them to reproduce smaller things. And even like the lines, you can see on the fake one right here, just the lines, it's very sloppy printing compared to a real one where it's very nice and smooth. So that's how you find out the Patrick Wall. This is only one of the 50 cards that's going to be in my book, Spotting at Fakes. If you're watching this in the future, Spotting Fakes is out now. You can check down in the description down below. If you're watching this right now, guys, I promise you it's really close. I'm just trying to edit it. There's a lot going on with the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to catch you in next week's episode. Mm -hmm.